Today's topic is monocot seed and embryo. Already we have seen the structure of dicot seed and how dicot embryo is situated inside and what happens to the embryo during seed germination. Today we can focus on monocot seed and monocot embryo. This is the rough figure of a monocot seed. From the figure itself you can understand two different portions. One is shown as shaded which is surrounded by a special structure and the other portion which contains embryo. And this portion, entire portion is known as endosperm. Endosperm contains nutritive tissue inside. Nutritive tissue is utilized by this embryo during seed germination. And next regarding monocot embryo. Embryo has two different parts, plumule and radical. And one peculiarity of this monocot embryo is that both plumule and radical are covered by specialized infolded leaf-like structures. Here you can see such structures and here around the radical also you can see such specialized infolded structures and they are known as coleoptile and coleoriza. Such structures which are seen around plumule is known as coleoptile and such structures which surrounds radical is known as coleoriza. Major difference between dicot and monocot embryo is that in monocot embryo we can see coleoptile and coleoriza which are specialized infolded structures which are seen surrounding plumule and radical respectively. And during seed germination as in other cases here also plumule is germinated into shoot system and radical will be grown into root system and this entire portion which contains embryo is known as scutellum and here you can see a partition wall between endosperm and scutellum so here are the two different parts the main parts of a monocot seed like endosperm this portion I have shown as shaded here and the second portion, the next half is known as scutellum, which contains embryo. You can see a partition wall in between these two and that wall is made up of protein. And the name of that wall layer is known as alluron layer. So alluron layer is the partition wall between endosperm and scutellum. Endosperm contains nutritive tissue and scutellum contains embryo. This is the structure of monocot seed and here comes the structure of monocot embryo.